and to get a holistic idea about the U.S. and Iran conflict tonight on Gravitas, we're being joined by two special experts. Joining us now is Fawad Izadi, Faculty of World Studies at the University of Tehran. We also have Aaron Blake, senior political reporter for the Washington Post. We also have Kate Fisher, we on correspondent, uh, joining us live from Washington, D.C. Let me begin with Kate. Uh, Kate, talk to us. Uh, the situation is changing in Washington by the hour. New statements coming in. Where exactly do things stand as of now? Because the last we heard uh, is that uh, uh, Trump did not approve the strikes because he wanted to save 150 lives. Strange to see him taking the moral high ground. Yeah, that's right. Um, we heard this from President Trump himself, who uh, told the American people and the rest of the world in a tweet that he uh, made the decision 10 minutes, just 10 minutes before these strikes were due to take place on three parts, uh, three sites in Iran. He made the decision to pull back and terminate the mission. He says because he spoke to a general, asked that general how many lives could be lost if we continue with this. The general said 150, and he decided that that was an inappropriate response to, uh, he says, the um, Iranians taking down the unmanned U.S. drone. Of course, the Iranians say they took it down because it was in Iranian airspace. The right, uh, we will continue chatting with uh, her. Meanwhile, let me take this across to some of the other Panelists who are joining us on tonight's show, uh, we have uh, Fawad Izadi, Faculty of World Studies at the University of Tehran. Fawad Izadi, uh, things right now are what you typically describe as a powder keg of a situation. Uh, but uh, Iran is in no mood to back down even now, despite the fact that Iran, like the U.S., has been saying that it does not want a conflict. Iran does not want to have a conflict with the United States. But uh, Iran will defend its uh, territory, like any other country. Uh, so uh, this was a message to Washington that if you enter Iranian airspace or if you uh, plan to attack Iran, Iran will attack back. And uh, if uh, President Trump had uh, carried on with his uh, plan attack and uh, if President Trump had killed 150 Iranian soldiers, you can uh, make sure that Iran would do the same to the Americans. We have lots right. of American soldiers around, and Iran would have responded uh, in, in the same proportion and have killed at least 150 American soldiers. Right. For all, by that time, it would be described as a war if first the U.S. strikes and then uh, Iran responds. Uh, I'm going to begin Aaron Blake into the discussion of this point in time. Aaron Blake, senior political reporter for the Washington Post, who joins us live from Washington, D.C. Uh, Aaron, uh, talk to us uh, in terms of uh, the U.S. stance like Iran, has always been that there shouldn't be a conflict, there shouldn't be war, but what's happening on ground is extremely different. If the U.S. was so sure that there should not be a conflict, how come an attack was ordered in the first place? Aaron, if you can hear us. Yes. Aaron. The problem here is that the U.S., first of all, ordered a strike and then withdrew it. That's correct, according to what we're hearing. Yes, but the problem is that despite the official position being that there should not be a conflict, that there should not be an escalation, a strike was in the works and it was just 10 minutes before the strike that it was pulled off. Yeah, the, we've been, been getting a lot of conflicting signals here, both from the president and the people around him. He's got a lot of people around him who are very hawkish on this kind of thing, but the president has been actually offering a number of reasons why there shouldn't be military action. He seems to be rather conflicted about this, and that conflict seemed to bear out uh, on Friday morning. Right. What are you hearing at this point in time? Because uh, Donald Trump has said that that strike was pulled out because uh, it would impact 150 lives uh, and claiming that that uh, could be a disproportionate response to uh, a drone being shot down. But even in the case of the drone being shot down, the U.S. maintains that it didn't fly over Irani airspace, whereas Iran has made it clear that you flew into our airspace and we wanted to send you a message. Yeah, we're getting conflicting signals about this, even from the administration. The president, in his tweets this morning, uh, said that he asked 10 minutes before the strikes were to be launched about the loss of life, and he canceled the strikes because of that. Uh, but we just had a top military official uh, go on TV and say that 
the, the strike was actually canceled because Iran said that this was not a sanctioned attack on a, on a U.S. drone. Uh, so the administration seems to not really have its story straight. The, the president doesn't seem to be, to be saying the same thing as other people. And we're all going to try to figure out what the truth is in the next few hours here. So, Aaron, you're telling us that there is a divergence between what the president of the United States of America says and the rest of the, uh, the government machinery is doing. Yeah, there, there really is a lot of conflict here. And the president, even on issues of foreign policy, has often sounded uh, a different message than people within his administration. Uh, often he'll do that via Twitter. Uh, so we really just don't know what's happening at this point. We do know, though, that a strike was planned. Uh, it was on its way to being carried out and that for some reason or another, the president pulled the plug at the last minute. Right. We also have uh, Kate Pusher. Our correspondent uh, joining us on on the show, uh, Kate. We were just chatting with you about what is the latest that is coming out of Washington. Uh, the day is just beginning uh, in Washington, uh, but it's going to be a really tense day uh, considering what's happened over the last 24 to 48 hours. It certainly is, uh, and those discussions, no doubt, will be continuing. Uh, as you just heard, there is confusion about the reasons for why this attack was dropped. The president saying it was to save lives. Uh, other people suggesting that there was uh, some denial from the Iranians that they had planned this and that it was a, a kind of some kind of... Um, uh, rogue operator within Iran doing so. Uh, lots that we don't know um, and lots to be discovered. Uh, perhaps confused by the fact as well that at the moment the acting defence secretary, uh, Mr Shanahan, is due to step down um, this week and uh, the uh, new uh, man for the job will take over next week. That can only be adding perhaps to um, the difficulties surrounding the administration's response to anything in the defence sphere. Uh, there are differing voices uh, in the Oval Office around the president. Of course, you have John Bolton, the National Security Advisor, and Mike Pompeo, the Secretary of State, who are very hawkish when it comes to Iran, and they apparently were very supportive of these military strikes. Uh, and then, then you have, um, we're told, senior... Uh, staff at the Pentagon telling the president that the concern they had was that if they continued with these strikes on Iran, it could endanger the lives of American military personnel in the region. Right. Uh, uh, Fawad Izadi, uh, Faculty of uh, World Studies, with us uh, uh, at the University of Tehran. Uh, Fawad Izadi, uh, it's clear that uh, the U.S. Uh, at this point in time, there's lots for the U.S. to think about, uh, but. What exactly do you think is going on in the minds of the Iranian regime at this point in time? The Iranian government uh, has said that uh, they are uh, going to attack American soldiers uh, if Americans attack. And so I agree with the last sentence that Kate had from Washington, that if uh, U.S. had carried out uh, the attack as they planned, uh, you would have many American soldiers dead. And uh, given the fact that uh, we are uh, reaching... Uh, uh, an election year, 2020 election in the United States, and given the fact that uh, Trump. Uh, All right, uh, Fawad Izadi uh, from the Faculty of World Studies at the University of Tehran. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, of course, Aaron Blake, senior political reporter for the Washington Post. Thank you so much for being with us here on Gravitas and Kate Fisher, our correspondent as well, joining us live from Washington, D.C. Yeah.